Hello heroes, my name is Candace Latham and this channel is all about helping you become the hero of your own lives and navigate adulthood a bit easier in regards to your habits, your finances, and your mindset. Today we're talking all about are you choosing faith or are you choosing fear? And I got this topic from my boyfriend actually because recently I bought a car. I bought a car, I paid cash, and it's kind of a long story, but eventually I'll do a video about, I'll do a car video because you know, I just moved here from Charlotte, so I needed a car to get around. And so since I moved here from Boston, like I haven't really been driving around like that. Like I have a license, but in Boston, you can just take the T. So when you live in a, a big city, sometimes it's easy not to learn how to drive or to drive because you don't really have to drive because there's a train, there's a bus. And so sometimes um, I saw this tweet on Twitter saying that like somebody said living in New York City kind of stunts your growth because everything is so expensive. So you need to have roommates that when you're when you're older and you don't drive, so you don't have a license. So when you're older now, you're learning how to drive. So yes, that's right. I'm one of those people who, you know, I lived in Boston. I didn't have a car. <laughs> well, I didn't have a car and I learned how to drive pretty late, even though I have I had a license when I, I had a license when I moved to Charlotte. I still didn't really know, wasn't comfortable driving. So I'm still, I was still a little afraid to drive and I'm still getting over that fear. Um, but my boyfriend uh, asked me that question a few, a few days ago. He was like, Candace, are you choosing faith or are you choosing fear? And I had to decide which one I was gonna choose. And it's so easy to choose fear, what your situation is, what you're going through, but it's like choosing faith is constantly a choice because it's so easy to just default to fear. Um, and a few of my friends were in town and they had invited me to dinner. And I, at first I was gonna say, I didn't wanna go. I, like, I was like, should I turn down this invita invitation because I was like, I'm a new driver. And the dinner, is, it was like a 49 minute drive from where I live on the highway. So I was just like, mm, I could tell them I was gonna make it. I, they sent me the invitation and I was just like, oh, okay, we'll see, right? Monday comes and now it's like dark when I wake up. So I checked the weather and of course it's raining, right? Of course it has to be raining. And you know, I already have a fear of driving because first of all, it's going to be nighttime. I had to meet there about five o'clock. So that means traffic and it's raining. Like I had everything stacked against me and I'm a new driver. And so I get into the car. I'm like, I told my boyfriend goodbye. I was like, see ya. Before I go, he's like, you want me to follow you there? I'm like, no, I'm fine. I got it. I get in the car and I, I just feel fear taking over. I'm like scared. I'm like, okay, God, what should I do? I'm like, I almost just canceled and said I'm not gonna go so I'm texting I'm like I don't want to go it's dark it's, it's raining maybe I shouldn't make it it's a car I got a car accident alert on the highway like all these things and um so he's like no he's, I told him I'm just gonna come inside so he's like fine just come inside Candace I'm like whatever so I didn't go inside I turned the car on and I started driving again again fear took over and I was like maybe I should take, take an uber I'm like no uber is too expensive and I called him I'm like I'm not gonna go like I almost just wanted him to drive me I'm like can you just drive me please like I don't want to do it and then I, I look into my mirrors and I can see a car behind me and it's him so he gets out the car and he just decides that he just sees like yeah I'm not gonna let you give up on this I'm not gonna let you choose fear you're going you're going to this dinner you're driving there and uh, you can either follow me and we'll just both get there together and then I'm following him in the car as I have my GPS on. It was a scary experience. Even just, I'm on the road, the rain is just coming down. I don't know how my windshield wipers, I don't make, know how to make them stay on. So I'm like pressing the button every every few seconds to make it come on myself. <sighs> it was a lot, but I made it guys. I made it to the restaurant. I made it home safely, thank God. And you know, it's just like, he was not gonna let me choose fear over faith. And look, I'm alive. I made it, even though it was scary. Sometimes we still have to just do the scary thing because that's the only way we're gonna get over that fear is if we keep showing up, if we keep doing the things that we're afraid to do, if we keep going into the direction of growth. That means we have to keep choosing faith. Doesn't mean that you're not gonna have fear. It just means that you have to make it to the rope, the faith rope, and still do the thing that you are afraid of. So I don't know who this message is for out there. I just felt it on my heart because it's a situation that I was dealing with. And I know that if I'm going through it, maybe somebody out there also is trying to it's wavering between choosing faith and fear. And I just say, just do it. You have to choose faith because that's what being a hero is about. A hero is showing up for yourself. A hero is doing the things that you're afraid to do um, because we have goals to reach. We got things to do and we don't got time for letting fear hold us back. And that's what this hero in your finances workbook and growth planner is all about. It's about you becoming the hero of your own life, owning up, taking charge of your finances and taking charge of whatever else it is that you haven't been taking charge of. So I'm gonna leave this workbook in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing. Remember that we are constantly making a choice every day, whether we're gonna choose fear 
and stay the same or we're going to choose faith and we're going to grow. And that's, of course, we want to grow around here. It's those two sides that are constantly in battle, the side that wants to stay the same and the side that doesn't want you to grow at all. Self that wants to be the hero, we must choose our best self. And that best self is moving towards faith and not letting fear keep us stuck. Uh, all right, guys, until next time, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you like it, make sure you comment because I'm trying to grow this channel and I can't do it alone. Obviously, I need your help because, you know, it takes work to put out content consistently. So I need you guys to show up for me. I need you to watch if you feel like, I need you to share. And of course, I need you to subscribe. Time. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.